Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Teasing Master Takagi-san season 3 episode number 5. Alright, the previous episode. Uh, the first part of the previous episode was the whole thing with the winter uniform uh, where like you know again Nishikata made a bet with Takagi that yeah I will like you know not say anything related like neither of us can say anything related to winter or say that oh we're cold and that was like the whole like you know bet <laughs> and Nishikata tries to kind of make um, Takagi say that it's uh, cold by you know different word plays and stuff but unfortunately he's unable to do that and uh, uh, Takagi is like you know like uh, like on on like you know even on top of that like you know she knows what Nishikata is going to do so <laughs> you know like she he loses there again and uh, then like you know then there was like this little part with uh food and uh, lunch box bento box and how like you know like again like you know they kind of make a little uh, contest you know like uh where like you know in by the end of it nishikata's um chicken <laughs> was taken by takagi while takagi's like you know loader suit was given to nishikata and it was like a nice little ending both of them get like you know the other person's uh, like you know food and they had to do a little like you know exchange of food stuff so yeah that was that and then there was that section with ufo where they try to like you know like nishikata tries to like you know find ufos and stuff and uses rocks <laughs> to substitute as like a ufo and uh, by the end of it like you know like they do see an ufo but no one knows what that was actually was that a real ufo or was that something else who knows but yeah and then there was that um public bath you know that uh section where nishikata and takagi goes to the public bath nishikata was waiting for takagi while takagi was already inside you know <laughs> and you know like uh, Nishikata gets a surprise when he comes out and then they go home like you know and then again another um little contest uh, the other person who's make uh, the person who's make who's able to make the other person like you know red by blushing wins all that stuff and by the end of it uh Nishikata kind of wins unfortunately he doesn't realize that but yeah nothing you can do about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyways um let's get started uh with this episode this is episode number five so let's see what most of nishikata and takagi like you know like uh, how like, you know new teasing techniques of takagi and <laughs> how she again makes nishikata lose because yeah that's basically what's what happens so let's see <laughs> all right so let's get started this is episode number five of teasing master takagi san season three so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Wait, who's this? It looks like Tahi, but that's not Tahi. That's Takagi. Wait, what is happening? That's definitely not Takagi's voice. And who is this? Is this like a dream or something? What is happening? What is this, some parallel universe? <laughs> What? Who is this? What is happening? I'm not accustomed to this. What is happening? Oh! <laughs> 
I'm okay. <laughs> All right, okay. I am. Oh my god. <laughs> It took me extremely long to understand what the hell was happening. I was not expecting this. Oh my god. Well, yeah, this is... Is this part of the other manga where Nishikata and Tahagi grows up and they get married and like, you know, like they have a kid or something? I think it's either part of that or this is all like, you know, this is a part of um, the original manga of Takagi. I'm, I have no idea because I've not read the manga, but my god, it took me so long to understand what the hell was happening. I was like, what is happening? This is not Tahagi's voice actor. <laughs> uh, like, this was not Ria Takashi's voice. I, like, you know, I was like, what is happening? Like, who is this? And who's this random guy? And this random, another random girl. Is the kid obviously? Okay, <laughs> the kid got Takagi's um personality while having uh, completely her mom's face. <laughs> oh my god, that took me by surprise. All right. What? Okay, he he's planning something again. <laughs> what is that? Oh. Mm. <laughs> wow okay yeah all right what is she is she like a mind reader or something <laughs> oh no she's leading him in pungent Oh no, oh no, that's the trap you're walking into. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah, that's how you do it. You oh my god. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what... I'm sure she has something. Yeah, obviously, like everyone has something. That's a really, obviously you won't get it, like what? <laughs> okay. Vegetable. Yeah, obviously, like this is like a million things in this world. Not a vegetable. What? Oh, no, no, no. Some kind of fruit? Oh no, what? Yeah, true. Hmm. Okay. Color. Okay. Yellow. Lemon. Lemon? It could be lemon. What? Um. What? Oh my god, this guy is. Le I think it's lemon. I don't know. What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, that's a... Oh, okay. Wow, alright, I guess. No oh, damn. Oh boy. All right, that's she's blushing. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my God. Gyoza, okay. Wait, she says that. Yeah. <laughs> She's enough tall, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Wait, where have I heard her voice? This girl. Oh my god. Is Chica's voice actor? Is that Chica's voice actor from Kavya Sama? I think so. I don't know. <laughs> okay, you can give it something. What? Oh no. Oh my god, that's a really messy way to eat. What the hell is tomorrow's meeting? <coughs> oh F what? Okay, what is that in our hand? Oh no, I think they're going to collide or something. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, she's behind you. <laughs> I doubt she was paying attention. Yeah, she doesn't even care. <laughs> Alright, melon pan. <laughs> Did she buy it? Oh my god. Alright. Fried chicken cafe. What type of a cafe is that? <laughs> Alright, there you go. <laughs> Only three fourths of the fried chicken cafe. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, what is that even? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, three votes only. She's still crying. All right. Wait, what's happening? Okay, the frog prince. Okay. <coughs> Juliot? Was that really his name? I don't remember. Romy and J what? <laughs> Romy and Juliet. 
What the hell is this? Wow. <laughs> that sounds kind of interesting, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good, good one. Okay, well. <laughs> All right. All right. Voting? Auditions. Okay, yeah, that that's better. <laughs> Damn, it's just... <laughs> Contest. Oh. All right. Romeo, <laughs> man. It's just. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Okay, let's see. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yep, you are on stage. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god, yo. Wow, what? <laughs> okay. Uh. Wait, what? Um, no. Oh, what? Wait, what the hell? Okay. Yeah, like what is this guy? <laughs> but, <laughs> yo, just oh great. What? Oh my god. Me. me. Ah, <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> uh, my God. Um, okay. Where are they going? <laughs> Mr. Dumpling here. Eh? <coughs> 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 
all right what is this okay oh uh, fishing okay <clears throat> Oh, it's like a fishing rod? Yeah. <laughs> five. It's very difficult to catch a fish, you know. Like five seems a lot. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yep just wait there like you need immense patience and just <clears throat> sit down like he's standing in... oh. <laughs> <clears throat> dry sketches hmm. okay <clears throat> yeah that seems oh great here we go as soon as he says that <laughs> it'll be kind of funny if he actually catches the big one, you know? <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Oh my god, here we go. The second the second one is going to come. <laughs> Beginner's luck, alright. <laughs> and there comes another one. And there oh there you go. Yeah. Oh my god, if it's like a shoe or something. Oh, it's a big one. It's the big one. Oh no. Yo. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Attention in front of you. Oh. Mm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, oh, she's talking about the fish, you know, koi fish, not that koi, not that koi, koi fish. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh my god. Well, <laughs> the wordplay, my God. Ah, uh. ah, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> You can do it down. 
Wait, what? What is the dumpling? <laughs> oh boy. All right. All right. Okay. I I have to say this is probably the best episode. Up. Uh. I think like you know up on like in this season. I, I like this episode the best. I don't know why, but <laughs> oh boy! I think the the reason why I like this the best was because of the opening scene. You know, the whole scene with um Takagi and Nishikata's kid. That was that was the reason. <clears throat> I doubt this is a spoiler, but I'm sure everybody knows. Like that's that was actually um Nishikata and Takagi's kid. The the scene in the beginning. I doubt that's a spoiler. All right, that's the end. Okay, wow, this is a really good episode. Now, the first scene. Okay, um, <laughs> now the first scene. I actually thought that was like some kind of dream when Nishikata is dreaming that you know, like, like, but but I was really confused why, like, you know, why there was like a random guy. Like, I thought if that was Nishikata, you know, I thought like, why is her is his hair like that and all that stuff. I was thinking. And I was like, what's happening? Like, is this like a dream? What is, what is even happening here? Like, uh, Takaki's voice actress, um, uh, Ria Takahashi. I think that was her, that's her name, isn't it? Ria Takahashi? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, Ria, Ria Takahashi. Ria Takahashi, um, who, who voice actress, uh, acts Takagi. Her voice acting was not the one that I was, like, you know, hearing in the beginning. So I was like, the voice actor changed even the guy like there's like a random guy there as well like i was like if, if this was like a dream this is a really weird dream like what is even happening and takagi looks kind of uh you know a little bit older than the takagi that we see so i was thinking then you know then and takagi's personality has completely changed i was like what is happening here and then they show us Okay, uh, so he, she she thinks that oh yeah, mom also said something like that as well, and then we see uh, like you know the actual Tagagi, who is an adult now, like kind of um, you know doing the uh, laundry or something like that, and uh, yeah, obviously, so <clears throat> obviously that this is very uh, like you know it's very apparent what is happening here. This is actually Tagagi's kid, and Tagagi. Like, you know, she got her personality completely from her dad, that is Nishikata. While, you know, like, her appearance and everything, it's completely Takagi's appearance. So, it's like a mixture of everything. So, <laughs> and I'm guessing, like, you know, this, this guy in, in, in class is probably, like, a, a, someone who is in Nishikata's position while... Takagi's kid is in Takagi's position, but their personality is completely opposite, I guess, where um, he is like a more stoic type of a person who is not, like, you know, uh, like, you know, what can I say, who, who can express the things that she, he wants to very easily. But Takagi here is kind of dense, like, not Takagi, sorry, um, uh, Takagi's kid here is like dense, completely dense, like Nishikata. She doesn't understand what is happening. She's like, yeah, what is happening? <laughs> like, you know, why did he take my thing? Why, why did he, wh wh what love was he talking about? This and that. Completely dense, clueless, like Nishikata. <laughs> She's like that. <laughs> and uh, my God, like, yeah. So yeah, that's, that was what was happening. And I'm sure, like, you know, most of you guys know that uh, there is another manga which has 
which probably will have this this thing like you know where nishikata and um takagi are grown up there and like the main character there is their kid which is this girl that we saw i don't know her name but this kid is the main character there and the thing that happens there is like um it's like she obviously she's the main character but she, she kind of like you know teases her dad just like her mom <laughs> used to do and like you know the other stuff i've not read it but i've seen a few chapters i've kind of glanced a few chapters and i've seen like you know that's that was like the basic thing of that chapter while she kind of lives her own life goes to school this and that and hangs out out with uh, her parents so it's kind of like that now i i have to say like you know since takagi uh, like you know teasing master tai san got like three seasons and still continuing and hopefully it'll get more seasons in the future as well i would really love if like you know like if uh, the other manga that where takagi and nishihata are grown up and their kid is like the main character i would really love if that also gets another adaptation it'll be really nice and i'm sure they will do it in the future because the author of takagi like you know i'm i'm not sure if uh, that person is a male or a female but he or she their manga like you know they, they have a lot of mangas and they, a lot of their mangas are getting adapted for example obviously takagi is one uh, another one is uh, which we are going to get an adaptation later is like with the ninja girl uh, i don't know what i don't remember the name but it's like with the ninja girl there's another one that's also getting an adaptation which is also kind of similar to takagi but what was the name ayumu ayumu something ayumu sanwa yusu something i i don't remember but it's like like you know it's kind of like the same f- formula but the girl there is like shy and like you know a little bit um let me check here you go uh, that's this is the name uh when will ayumu make his move or sore demo ayumu wa yosetsukeru yeah this is also getting an adaptation and like you know that's why i'm saying like a lot of the like you know this author's mangas are getting adapted so hopefully in the future we might also get uh, you know the other manga with takagi and nishikata grown up that manga's adaptation as well but that's for the future <clears throat> so yeah the first part really caught me by surprise i was not expecting something like that just at the, at the beginning but yeah all right anyways um that was that uh, okay, then the next uh, <clears throat> we get the opening and then uh, the uh, actual show starts and uh, okay here we go the first one mm. what <laughs> <coughs> what nishikata does not like to eat that was the whole thing um like obviously he does not like green pepper now here's one thing i really i don't know why but i really don't understand this why is like i've seen in a lot of like you know people saying this as well why do people not like green peppers or bell peppers i i really don't understand this for me bell peppers is like one of my most favorite foods i love bell pepper or green peppers as you can say you know and i even love like you know eating them raw like that's like you know that that weird type of a tangy like you know taste it has with like a, like in you know, a sour and like a bitterish type of uh, like you know t- uh, uh, taste i just love that you know so bell pepper or green peppers are like one of my favorites so <laughs> even even when i was a child i loved it you know so i really don't understand why there are like you know like like in most animes like you know people hate bell peppers like they 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 act as if it's like like some kind of <laughs> i don't know some kind of demonic creation or something like why i i i just love bell pepper probably because probably my taste is different i guess from other people but i don't understand i feel like the anime is exa- exaggerated doesn't it like how can someone like i can understand that yeah they don't like bell pepper but like you know the the way they kind of overreact in anime i'm like what is happening <laughs> but yeah i guess that's just base i i guess that's basically like you know people's difference in tastes and <clears throat> yeah like but but i just i i really love bell peppers or green pepper green it's peppers are like one of one of my favorite things to eat um and vegetables so yeah this is one thing i never understood 
<laughs> but anyways, uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, he like, you know he he does not like green peppers, and um, Takagi is like, okay, let me guess, green peppers, isn't it? And he's like, wait, how did she guess that? And then he's like, okay, I'm going to guess one of your like, you know the thing that you don't like to eat, and <clears throat> and then like you know like they say. Uh, she uh, he starts like you know guessing and Takagi uh, first says that no it's not a vegetable and then he says uh, she says that it's something what is it okay Takagi asks what does it taste like it says sour and refreshing but with some sweetness to it and um, obviously from this I I thought that it was a lemon mm, like but now that I think about it lemons are not sweet so I don't know why I thought that <laughs> but I, I guess sour and refreshing was the reason why I thought it was lemon and uh then <clears throat> takagi says uh, like you know like uh yeah takagi says another the last hint that it's yellow and nishikata says that it's pineapple and like <laughs> uh i guess pineapple kind of uh falls in in that category sweet sour but refreshing yes but, but pineapple was a really random guess like, i don't know how he got that but anyways, <laughs> Tag is like, no, it's, it's, okay, what does she say? Energy drinks? A beverage similar to energy drinks. Like, oh, I don't understand what, what was this answer? Not all energy drinks are yellow. What, what, like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, but she does say that any beverage similar to energy drinks. But why did she say yellow then? Like, I don't know. Like, th this, this is a very weird type of an answer. I, I'm, I'm, you know what? I think, like, Tahagi should have just said, uh, not Tahagi. Uh, Nishikata should have, uh, like, you know, t said that, no, this is, like, you know, like, I don't accept this answer. <laughs> like, not all energy drinks are yellow. Like, what are you even saying? And, like, you know, it's like a very wide variety of energy drinks. Like, how can we just say that it's, like, an answer? Like, you know, I, I think <laughs> Nishikata should have said that. Because that was a really weird answer, like, you know, but uh, obviously, like, you know, he doesn't say anything. He's like, oh, yeah, maybe, you know, like, yeah, you're right. And <laughs> then Nishikata kind of, uh, sorry, Tahai kind of in the end says that, okay, like, if there's a day when I, like, you know, cook food for you, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll cook a food with <laughs> bell peppers. All right. I feel like this episode, like, you know, everyone was being extremely direct with stuff, you know. Nishikata, not Nishikata, but Takagi was being extremely direct with stuff. She was just, just like, you know, like saying stuff, like, you know, in, in front of him. <laughs> oh, boy. Without, like, you know, kind of, uh, without trying to, what can I say? Like, you know, like not say it and say other stuff kind of. Uh, hinting at that stuff, not doing stuff like in that roundabout way. She just says it. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, the next part uh, is the one with the girls where... Oh, okay. This girl. What's her... Okay, I need to check out her voice actress. Like, uh, it's bothering me. The girl um, who I said that it has... She has Chika's voice. <clears throat> Let me see. Hibino Mina. I think that's her name. I was right. Yeah. She, she is. She also voice acted Chika from Kaguya-sama. Like I was hearing her and I was like, wait a minute, where have I heard her voice? Like it's so familiar. And then I realized that, yeah, this is Chika's voice. Like Chika's voice is really unique. Like, you know, it's like that weird type of a uh, way she talks. And <laughs> yeah, I, I, I caught that. All right. Anyways, um, okay, so he, like, and there was that whole thing with gyoza and, uh, <laughs> the other girl, like, the black-haired girl, she, he kind of, she kind of eats that gyoza and the other girl was like, oh, why did you do that, like, you know, and she goes outside and brings some melon bread, while these, the, 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 the male three, two characters, the, uh, I guess, uh, Nishikata's friends, the, uh, I don't know her name, his name, but the guy who was talking about fried chicken. <laughs> he was like, oh, I need a fried chicken cafe. I don't know what the hell that is. Fried chicken cafe, but I guess it was something in his head. So <laughs> he's like, okay, tomorrow we'll vote and we'll see. 
and the next day the vote happens obviously fried chick chicken cafe nobody you know voted for that except his friends <laughs> oh my god that's just and you know he's he's just lamenting crying he's like my fried chicken <laughs> my wish didn't come true my dream is destroyed <laughs> okay but the girls kind of come up with a good like you know thing like they say that they're going to do a play where uh you know like where what was the name romy and juliot or something like that yeah i think it was something like that like <laughs> like you know it was like uh, like the, the, the whole play was like the frog prince you know but uh, the, the name was kind of romeo and juliet and like it's like a mixture of everything uh, which I have to say, it's kind of an interesting, like, you know, play, you know, like, it, it was an interesting, um, like, you know, thought or an interesting um, plot that they came up with. Uh, especially, like, you know, seeing that they're just kids. So it was good. And, you know, like, yeah, and everyone ag agreed. So obviously, the default, what can I say, uh, person who, like, everybody knew, like, the, she's going to get selected. Tahi got selected for the uh, princess. But then, like, you know, the audition starts, like, you know, they start doing their audition. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> I don't know why, but I, I, <laughs> I, I was expecting Tai Nishikata for being the, like, you know, like, prince in the, after, like, you know, winning the audition or something like that. I was really, like, you know, thinking, like, yeah, it's, it's going to go in that way. That's why when um, Takagi said that, okay, let's do a contest. If you win the audition, you know, you'll win. And uh, I was like, okay, I, I was thinking at that moment, like, I was like, okay, maybe this will be like, you know, uh, another easy win for Nishikata. I don't know why, but I, 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 I thought that, yeah, Nishikata is going to win. But unfortunately, like, he did it really well, you know, obviously, like that whole scene and everything. And, oh my God, like, <laughs> oh, what was that girl's name? Sanai. Okay, that girl. <laughs> the... <laughs> And what was the guy's name? Kimura. Yeah, Kimura. Kimura starts lamenting about his fried chicken. And that was so moving that <laughs> Sana is like, yeah, that, that, that guy. Yeah, he is going to do it. Uh, just, you know, substitute fried chicken with uh, Takagi. It'll all work out. And like... <laughs> I, th I don't know. I feel like this is going to go wrong completely. I feel like that's going to happen because he's, he, he likes, like, you know, he's lamenting for fried chicken. So, it's like, you know, obviously, like, in, in the play, he won't be able to do that. You know, like, he won't be able to bring out that emotion in front of Tagagi because, like, because he is lamenting for fried chicken and... <laughs> This is like a completely different thing. So I don't know how, how how this is going to go. Like, who knows? Like, you know, like if if I I don't know. Like, if he today goes home and eats like some like you know uh, fried chicken, and f from the next day onwards, his like you know sorrow for fried chicken goes away. Obviously, he won't be able to act. Like, what type of a decision was this? Nishikata was per perfect for this role. While like you know they, they suddenly, like you know he suddenly chose him. You know what I I think is going to happen. I'm thinking probably by the end of it, this guy is somehow going to um, you know like not be able to act or something is going to happen. Like you know like probably he won't be able to act as good as he acted you know before, and maybe Nishikata is going to get substituted in. I don't know. I feel like something like that might happen, but we'll see. Because I, I was really, I was like, what the hell? Like, you know, you're you seeing in front of you, like, this, this, such a great, like, you know, like, uh, like emotion field, uh, like, Nishikata just, you know, like, acting in front of everyone. And while this guy suddenly talks about fried chicken, and you're like, yeah, this guy's great, take him in. Like, no, obviously not. <laughs> like, oh my god, that was, that was, <laughs> I was really, I, like, you know, I was not happy with that decision. But we'll see. I'm, I'm, I still think like maybe by the end of it, Nishikata is somehow going to get substituted in. Let's wait. Okay, wait a minute. What did Nishikata get? Pheasant, Takagawa, Dango Dumpling, A, eh, Nishikata. Wait, what does that even mean? Dango Dumpling, A? Eh? Like, Nishikata is a food? Is that? 
I don't know. Like, okay, never mind. <laughs> like, wait, what is he supposed to do then? Just stand there or something? Like, I don't know. <clears throat> Anyways. So, yeah, that was that. And yeah, like, he, he lost the whole thing. And the, 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 that contest, and yeah. Uh, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm not happy with that decision, but yeah, let's move on. <laughs> okay, the next part uh, is the fishing part, where, you know, like, Nishikata and Takagi again does a contest. Whoever uh, catches the most amount of fish, no, five fishes or something, wins. And if someone uh, catches the big one, it'll automatically win. And Takagi is kind of accustomed with, like, you know, handling these things. So, but he, he, she's obviously new at fishing. She's like, ah, this is beginner's luck and starts catching one, two, three fishes back to back. <laughs> Nishikata is kind of, like, you know, struggling. And okay, here's the thing. Fishing, ah, oh, boy. I, I actually went for fishing once and I have to say it's one of the most boring, like, you know, tedious things I've, I've ever done. And like like you, you need immense patience you, you just have to keep the like you know like the, the fishing pole and just sit there sit there for like i don't know how much like like 15 20 minutes just sitting there and you can't even like you know move the like you know fishing pole like or it might get messed up so like obviously this easily like you know catching fishes are very rare and you need to be very lucky but yeah like um like i went fishing once and i have to say like since you know, I, I i probably don't have that much amount of patience i was like yeah this is like and you know, i'm not going fishing anymore no more fishing i don't have that much patience sorry <laughs> oh my god uh but yeah okay so <clears throat> yeah now he, he kind of catches the big one like and the big one kind of gets into the hook he tries to get it out cannot he was going to fall into the river, but Takagi comes to the rescue, catches him. <laughs> I love the way when, you know, when, when the string kind of, like, you know, tears off and just, like, you know, like Nishikata is just like catching the pole, his mouth is open, face just flushed, you know, just standing like a statue there. And <laughs> Takagi realizes that, oh, the string has actually torn and it's not there anymore she realizes that and she like hurriedly like you know just <laughs> just moves away from him <laughs> and then kind of looks at him for quite a moment <laughs> that that was that was like <laughs> that scene was hilarious <laughs> and she was also rattled at that moment but when nishikata like you know turns around by that time she has kind of you know settled herself down and she's just standing there like wow <laughs> okay and then they go back and then by the like you know when they were going back nishikata again starts teasing uh no not nishikata sorry Tagi again starts teasing nishikata by talking about koi and koi 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 fish and koi which also means love you know like those two again word plays you know so he 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 was talking about koi which Nishikata thought that it was koi or love that he was she was talking about while she says that no it's not that koi it's the koi fish so basically that again like you know Nishikata's style uh Takagi's style of teasing <laughs> and then she says that you know what you lost the bet so you're going to help me practice like <laughs> you're going to you're going to be the prince and you're going to help me practice I'm guessing that will be the next uh week's episode yeah this this episode i i really enjoyed this episode it was really great <laughs> so many so many like you know like what can i say like the development in this episode was immense so yeah so anyways that was it that was my reaction to uh, uh teasing master tari san season 3 episode number 5 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Teasing Master Tagari-san. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.